पर हम लोग करते Thessalonians The first Thessalonians chapter 4 Finally brother we instruct you how to live in order to please Yah as in fact you are living Now we ask you and your you in the Lord Yeshua aka we are called Jesus and to say Lord my Yah right sometimes you don't know here in now okay Yeshua to do this more and more first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 2 for you know what instruction we gave you by the authorities of the Lord Yeshua it is yah yah will that you should be certified that you should avoid sexual morality that each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable not in passion passion passionate love lust like the heathens like the heathens who do not know ya and that in this matter no one should wrong his brother or take advantage of him the lord and i may say maya or yeah <laughs> The Lord will punish man for all such sin as we have already told you and warned you for Yah did not call us to be impure but to live a holy life Therefore he who reject this instruction instruction does not reject man but Yah who gives you his holy spirit now but brotherly love we do not need to right to you for you yourselves have been taught by yah to love each other and in fact you 
do love all the brothers throughout Macedonia or Macedonia. Yet we hear you, brothers, to do so more and more. Make it your ambitious to lead a quiet life, quiet life, to mind your own business and to, to work. with your hands. Just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Mm. Hey. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13. Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grip like the rest of men who have no hope. We believe that Yahshua died and rose again. And so we believe that Yah will bring with Yahshua those who have fallen asleep in Him. According to the Lord, on words by y'all and some of y'all Jews use the word Adonai mm -hmm. Adonai Lord's own word we tell you that we who are still alive who are left till the coming of the Lord will surely not proceed. Those who have fallen asleep for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a Lord command with the voice of our gentle And with the trumpet call of Yah, known as God. And some of y'all Jews use the word Hashem. And some of y'all use the word Yahweh. But in Aramaic, we say Yah. Alright? In Aramaic, we say Yah. And sometimes, when they use the word Elohim, we don't use no E. Remember in the alphabet from the Aramaic Arabic, they used the word Allah. Not Allah with the one with the uh, Muslim use, with the Palestinian use. No, not that word, Allah. It's Allah. They say Allah. Alright? Allah. Or Allah. To say quick, Allah. Alright? Don't get confused. Don't get confused. That's Judah there. Alright? Now, we're not here to confuse it. Alright, continue on. Alright, the trumpet call of Yah and the dead of uh, the dead in Messiah. They used the word Christ, but we don't use the word Christ. We call him straight. Messiah. Because that's what Yahshua is. He is the Messiah. And he is Judah. He never called himself Christian, remember. 
He's not Christ. He's Messiah. But by respect, if you feel comfortable using the word Christ, that's up to you. Alright? I'm just teaching. We're raised first. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse verse 17 After that we we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. Alright? Amen. In Aramaic, I'm going to read. In Aramaic, we pronounce First Thessalonians, right? Tamat, tamata, tamata, sha, samka, samka. But for sure, we say tamata, tamata, shata. All right. Okay. The verse 17. Shalama Abayaka Adaha Apasha Alasha Simka Ada Ala Ana Shaka Ada Babaka Laya Ga Ga Ayataya Dahataka, Bakata, Ba, Yasha, Shapaka, Ta, Ada, Amaka, Yasha, Shan, Mashaha, Anaka, Nama, Kalashaka, Shak, Shak. Shak Ah Maya Translation. That's the same translation from First Thessalonians chapter four, verse seventeen. What I was speaking at, I will make to you. Now, chapter four, to live in, to please God, to please Yah, to do the right thing, obey Him, respect Him, have faith in Him. And believe that Yahshua is the Messiah. Because that's the only way you can go to heaven. And I speak it to y'all Hebrew Israelites. And I speak it to y'all Hebrew. I speak to y'all Jew. Y'all Jewish. I speak to every one of y'all around the world. Everybody. Hebrew Israelites speak Paleo, I speak Aramaic. And I also speak the other language also. So give God thanks. And um now first Thessalonians chapter four Living to please Yah, known as God. Two, believe in him, have faith in him. And to obey. 
what the words tell you. Don't go out there, go wild. Have sex. What they say, sexual mo morality? Means like, if y'all marry, mm-hmm. If y'all marry and you commit adultery and you go out there and have sex with everybody, even the wife go out there and have sex with the other one where they with their husband, even a husband be with they have sex with somebody else and they be with their wife, uh-uh. That's sexual morality. That's not allowed. That's not the right way. If y'all two is actually together and y'all couples stick together and that's the one you go have sex for the rest of your life. That's yours. Now the one that's single, they don't have to deal with it. Just don't go crazy and wild and pass out with, with anybody. But, but single could do, because single's free. It's just the married couples. No. Sound like it's not fair, but that's the truth. That's the fact. Now, if you're girlfriend boyfriends, you want to marry, marry, and you're living together, then, then you gotta stick with that one. Just one person. Not go out there wilding. <laughs> Even though we see prostitutes have sex, you know, for money and they trying to survive with their family and this, that. I understand the situation, how the world is, because, you know, how the society is. But to be honest, the truth, you know, you don't have to sell your body to no one. Just try. Talk to Yah. Talk to Yahshua. He listened to you. And go into your private room. He listened to you. If you think he not, he's alive. He listened. And this word is what Paul was talking. AKA it was Saul. Not Saul from the Old Testament. Don't get confused. Not that Saul. This is Paul. Where he was speaking. Paul let you know how to live your life, you know, to have faith with the Lord, to live your life, to obey, to respect God, to respect Yah. And he also respect Yahshua. Words. As I was reading, he was respecting Yahshua. He respect Yahshua and he and he follows word and wham. He go out there and tell you straight. Prophesy the people out there. And yes, we know Paul do bad things. But still, he know he's a Hebrew. And the definition of what a Hebrew means? Person of color. People of color. But, don't get to the confusion. And don't get mad. Because that's the definition. They say Hebrew means tone, the language. No. Hebrew means a person. A language they don't want to tell you in the word from the Old Testament all the way through the New Testament is Aramaic. The real language is Aramaic. The Old Testament must be written in Aramaic. But anyway, um, to get back on this on the word, that's all. He wants you to have faith have faith to please, you know, to please the Yah is obey and respect and follow his rules. And follow the commandment that he gave you. The same commandment that Yahshua talk about, that's the same commandment from Moses was Moses give it out. That commandment. And I know a lot of people don't follow it, but hey, if you want to live right, you know, it don't be perfect. We understand it don't be perfect, but that's how you have to follow. Yah. Believe Yah. You know, Yahshua. Believe Yahshua too. Because you know, Yahshua is the only one. Talk about it. About life. To want us and everybody, everyone to have faith with Yah. And that's why Yahshua is there. That's why He's there. To send a message to us, to teach us. He's the Rabbi. He teaches us. All right.